Hey guys, so today I will be discussing why I personally believe that now is the perfect time to buy Workhorse stock. So the past week has been a very interesting one for Workhorse. We found out that they have secured $200 million worth of funding in the form of a loan. So that was obviously very positive news to find out about. But on the flip side, we also found out that the USPS contract has been delayed. So we're not going to be finding that out. Um, until later on in the year, which is quite disappointing for some investors, um, and that had a negative impact on the stock price. However, in my personal opinion, I do believe that right now is a very good time to be picking up Workhorse stock, um, and in this video today, I will be discussing uh, the reasons why I think that will be the case, as well as look looking back at the last week uh, in more detail and what sort of happened with the stock price. Before we get into this video, guys, um, if you're not up to date on Workhorse, uh, and you don't really know what the company actually do, then I do have a couple of videos back on my channel where I go into more detail about the actual uh, company of Workhorse and what they what they do. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, it really does help me out. And also remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Uh, and apart from that, let's get right into it. So Workhorse did on the 12th of October announce that they have secured $200 million worth of financing from institutional lenders. Now Workhorse has entered into a note purchase agreement under which it will sell $200 million uh, aggregate principal amount of its 4% senior secured convertible notes that are due in 2024 um, and this is to two institutional lenders. Now the notes are due in 2024 which means that whoever is buying the $200 million worth of notes will have the option to convert these notes into stock if they do desire to do so in the year 2024. If they don't want to convert them into stock, they can hold them past maturity uh, and receive the money back that Workhorse owe them. So in addition to this, uh, we also found out that Workhorse has entered into a exchange agreement with the holder of its current 4.5% uh, convertible notes to exchange the full $70 million outstanding principal um, of these notes for shares of the company's common stock. Now, after the proceeds have been closed and released, Workhorse will receive $70 million in cash. And this means that someone who has bought the $70 million worth of notes previously has converted into stock, meaning that Workhorse can keep the $70 million of cash. So on the press release that Workhorse uh, did retweet themselves on their Twitter, um, the article that they retweeted, um, it did say that they now have approximately $270 million in cash. Um, available now thanks to these two cash injections that have happened. So on the day that this was announced investors did react very positively to this news um, and Workhorse share price uh, did hit prices of as high as $30 per share before pulling back later on in the day to around $26.50. So in the press announcement, it was stated by Workhorse that they're going to be using the funds to do uh, one of several different core things in the business. So the first of which is to increase and accelerate production volume. Uh, secondly is to advance new products to the market. Um, they also want to replace previous high costing uh, financing. Um, and finally, they want to support current working capital and other general corporate purposes. And we're going to look at each of these different um, uses of the funds in a little bit more detail. So firstly, the fact that the cash is going to be used to increase and accelerate production is very exciting to hear as an investor. So at the moment, Workhorse's production target for 2020 is between 300 and 400 vehicles. Now obviously this is quite a low number of vehicles, so having the cash available to drive this production up in the future will be a really important factor in Workhorse driving up their sales and revenue further down the line. So knowing that some of the funds will be used to advance new products to the market is also very interesting to hear. So it means that Workhorse are most likely working on designing other last mile delivery vehicles or products and will be looking to push these out in the near future. Again this is great to hear because the more polished products that Workhorse have available on offer, uh, the more revenue they're going to be able to generate further down the line. Replacing old high cost financing with better financing is also a really great step forward for the company. So having over $200 million in funds at their disposal, as well as the partnership with Hitachi Capital uh, already in place, is a great recipe for success when it comes to managing finances and working towards profitability. 
So in the press release, Workhorse's chief executive gives a or, or gave a public statement on the news. So he said that with the financing in place, we can more quickly advance our production efforts heading into 2021 by increasing our supply chain component volumes, hiring more manufacturing employees uh, and automating certain sub-assembly processes. We can also accelerate our production timeline for new high demand customer products, including a refrigeration truck for grocery applications, as well as a purpose built uh, class two delivery van, allowing us to address one of the fastest growing vehicle markets in the US. So as I covered in my previous video, we did already know about the new staff being hired at Workhorse. However, it's definitely great to see that the chief executive is backing this up in this statement um, and it re-emphasizes the, to the public that Workhorse are actively increasing their manufacturing workforce. Now this is a very positive sign because it strongly suggests that Workhorse plan to rapidly increase their production over the next few years. And it is unlikely that they would be doing this if they didn't have um, some solid plan or partnership in the works at the moment. So one of these big partnerships that they could be um, working on right now is obviously the USPS one, uh, which is still yet to be announced, as I, as I mentioned earlier. So the fact that the chief executive specifically mentioned the development of a refrigerated truck is also pretty big for future client potential. Now, online grocery shopping is getting bigger and bigger every year, especially with the current global pandemic uh, right now. So people uh, just don't really want to waste their time traveling into a grocery store and walking around trying to find out the items that they want. It is much easier for uh, people to simply go online, order their food. And with a increase in people doing this, supermarkets and grocery stores are going to be increasing their food delivery fleet over time. Now, as more and more companies move towards green technology and cut down on their carbon emissions, a lot of companies are likely to turn to electric trucks uh, to uh, fulfill this need. Now, if Workhorse can um, work with supermarkets and grocery stores to establish a decent share of the refrigerated delivery truck market, then this could be a massive uh, revenue opportunity, uh, potentially, in the future for Workhorse. So now moving on to the delayed USPS contract announcement. So the very next day, on the 13th of October, the stock price absolutely bombed, uh, dropping from the all-time highs of around $30 per share on the previous day, down to a low of around $22.50. Now in addition to this, uh, Roth Capital downgraded workhorse from buy to neutral, with the price target of $27 um, being the new price target, uh, which is down from $33. Now, Rough Capital stated that they, or, or the main reason why they uh, did this was because they had communicated with a USPS spokesperson who had told them that a decision on the USPS contract had been pushed right back until the end of 2020, which is a lot later than they obviously thought it was going to be. Uh, and a lot of people were expecting the USPS contract to come in October sometime. So this news that the USPS contract is now not likely to be announced until the end of 2020 did put some fear and doubt into some investors, which did cause a sell-off to take place on that day. Now there is some speculation in the community around institutions uh, performing a pump and dump um, with work or stock. Um, however, this is all speculation at this point and nobody knows whether this is true or not. So it's definitely not something that is worth looking into it probably didn't happen um, but it's just a little bit of speculation now on the positive side arc invest have been consistently adding more shares to their position in workhorse in their arc q etf now as i'm making this video um, arc hold approximately eight hundred twenty thousand shares um, in workhorse in this particular etf and they have been uh, buying new shares uh, constantly and consistently over the past few weeks. So even over the last couple days of the week, when this price drop happened, they have been adding more shares to their position and they did add around 25,000 new shares to their position just over that last few days of uh, the past week. Now ARK Invest and their owner Kathy Woods are extremely good at what they do and are very highly respected in the investing world and they have achieved really good past performances on their ETFs. So if ARK are continuing to buy, then I am not too concerned personally uh, about what other institutions uh, like Roth are saying. I have a lot of faith in ARK and I think they're really good at what they do. 
So this is definitely reassuring to me personally to see that they are still buying more shares. So as of right now, when I'm making this video, Workhorse stock has not recovered since the news about the delayed USPS contract came out. Um, and it is currently trading at $22.81 as of the market close on Friday. So is it the right time to buy Workhorse right now? So if you believe in Workhorse as a company, then now is definitely a good time to buy. The stock price is at its lowest point it's been for over a month and nothing negative has really come out about the actual company. It's only been about this USPS contract, which has just been delayed to a little bit further down the line. So it is definitely disappointing that we have to wait longer for the USPS contract to be announced. But at the end of the day, this doesn't really change Workhorse's long term potential as a company. It just means that we have to be a little bit more patient to find out the outcome of this contract. So personally, I do believe that Workhorse does have a pretty good chance of winning at least some of the USPS contract. So I'm not saying they will for sure, and you should definitely look into reasons why they could or could not be accepted. Um, my previous videos on Workhorse go a bit more into detail about this particular contract, um, but I am overall quite happy to wait until the contract is announced, um, and there is absolutely no point in dumping shares right now, in my personal opinion. So if Workhorse do uh, go on to get completely rejected by the USPS, then I will not be too concerned it's obviously going to be a big, um, it's going to be a, a pretty negative thing on the actual share price in the short term, uh, short to medium term. But I still believe that the company has really good potential in the long term, so five years plus, um, especially with all the recent news that has come out about them. Now, I do know that the 200 million is obviously a loan and it's going to be debt for them uh, for the time being, which is not a great thing. But if it allows Workhorse to push out their products to more consumers and to increase their production uh, and whatnot, um, and all, all of the other positive things that were discussed in the press release, then I definitely think it's worthwhile and it gets the company moving forward to generate more revenue. So overall, I would consider this dip to be a really good opportunity, if not the perfect opportunity, to pick up some discount shares, uh, as long as you believe in the fundamentals of the company and also understand the high risk with this company. I'd also just like to clarify that this, this video is for purely entertainment purposes only. I am definitely not a financial advisor. I purely do this for my own fun of looking into the companies and sharing my own thoughts on the company. If you are thinking of investing in Workhorse, you must do your own research. You can't just go on what people on YouTube are saying. Um, you need to look into it yourself. So that is all for today's video, guys. Um, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also, remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Workhorse as a company and what you think of the events of the past week, because it has been a very interesting uh, ride the past week has. Um, and also remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this uh, in the future, including more videos on Workhorse. And apart from that, guys, thanks a lot for watching.